Okay, welcome aboard here. We are watching how to search the Usenet or how to search news groups video. Uh, Jason here, going to take you through this pretty quickly. Um, it's really not overly difficult, but uh, I'll give you some good places to start and get yourself set up so that you can go out and search the Usenet. Uh, I'm going to show you two ways of doing it here today. The first way I'm going to show you is the down and dirty um, free way to search the Usenet. Um, and the second way is I'm going to show you how I do it um, using a software application uh, that I have installed on my computer. Uh, first way you can pretty much do anywhere you have internet access. You can do it on your phone, you can do it at the library, you can do it at home, you can do it wherever you have internet access. Um, so we're just going to start here with the basic Google search and I'm just going to type in newsgroup search. Um, and that's going to bring up this uh, website called binsearch.info. Um, I don't even bother typing it in. It's uh, just easier for me to type in newsgroup search. Um, but as you can see here, um, you basically get a, uh, a search box where you can type in um, a query. And what we're going to look for here is uh, Mustang you know, 5.0 photo. Um, that's the query we're going to put in. That might be a little too detailed, um, but the other options we have is are, the other options we have are, how many results we want per page. It defaults to 100. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. If you are on a slow connection, maybe you want to drop it down to 50 or 25. Um, you know, go crazy. Uh, maximum age of post. Now, this is something you probably do want to pay attention to, and this has to do with who your news group provider or Usenet provider is, and how many days of what they call retention, um, how many days of retention they offer. Now, retention, for those of you who don't know, is um, how many days back the Usenet provider you use um, provides you with posts. So they will save, in this case, they're saying maximum age of posts. They're saying, does your Usenet provider provide you uh, Usenet posts all the way back 1,100 days, uh, which is a long way uh, for those of you who are math challenged. Um, the news provider I use actually has more than that, surprisingly. Uh, they're over 10, 11 years, I think, at this point. Um, so you definitely want to keep that in mind. Um, you know, there's another video tutorial or write-up actually on my website. There's probably another video here too, uh, depending on where you're watching this. Uh, that will kind of walk you through how to select a uh, Usenet provider because while there's not a whole lot of uh, differences between them, there are some important ones and retention is probably the biggest one. Um, so now that we've beat that horse to death, let's uh, just leave this at 1100 days. Um, we will also change this from searching in the most popular groups to searching in other groups. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and click search. Um, and we found, as you can see down here, it came up with 14 records. Not a ton. Um, but let's go over real quickly what they're showing us here. Um, in this first uh, column, we're going to see uh, the subject of the post um, and usually in the subject you're going to find you know a good idea of what it is the post contains in this case it says mustangs on the move red desert wyoming.jpg well those are mustang horses from the sound of it not necessarily what we're looking for um, it tells you the name of the poster or their handle uh, the group that it found them in the post in and how old it is so um, let's go down here um, and see if we can't find a picture of a Mustang 5.0 and in this case you know I, I didn't find one here I did find this 1966 uh, Ford Mustang Shelby GT 350 um, which is probably cool. Um, and so you would then know that this news group is where you're going to find it. 
Um, and that would be where you would want to go looking for it. You know the post is 1,095 days old, so you better make sure that you're using a Usenet provider that can get you that format. Uh, if you click on this news group here, it'll show you uh, some other stuff that you find in the news group. But you can see here's the name of the news group that you clicked on. Uh, but this is all kind of convoluted. This is kind of handy using this free search. If there's something that you think exists out there and you might want to find it uh, just to see if it exists quickly uh, without doing a whole bunch of legwork, you pretty much have access to a web browser. Most people do anywhere they are since most phones these days have all that stuff built in. Um, so this is kind of a quick down and dirty way. You can find a file or you can find a post. Um, pretty quickly. Now, the other way of doing it is to use a an application that our news group reader application um, that actually does most of this legwork for you. I use a thing called Mimo, M-I-M-O, uh, -M -O, and it's provided by a company called Giga News. And Giga News is really, I think they're the biggest uh, Usenet provider out there. Um, I live in Austin, Texas. They happen to be here based in Austin. Um, which is kind of nice uh, to use somebody local, but they also happen to be the best. I've used a lot of different companies over the years. Um, I've been playing with the Usenet for a long, long, long time, and it was something that most ISPs used to provide you for free. Uh, they used to provide you access to the Usenet uh, for free. That's kind of gone away because most people don't even know that the Usenet exists, so um, it's probably just an added cost for ISPs. Um, but anyways, I use Mimo. It's very easy to use. When you fire it up, uh, you're basically prevented with, presented excuse me, with a wizard, and it takes you to this screen. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to select this button here. It says Find a Group. Um, and we're just going to go and type Mustang. And um, let's see if you can put 5.0. That might be a little too much. I'll hit Enter. Right, it says No Results. So I'll just type in Mustang and see what we get. There. All right, so now you can see it's come up with six different groups that have Mustang in the name. And that would probably be a good place to start if you're looking for four you know, Mustang 5.0 pictures or whatever your chitter chat. You want to go talk with a bunch of other Mustang uh, freaks out there that enjoy the Mustang as much as you do. And we're going to go down to this one here, the Rec Autos Makers Ford Mustang group, simply because it has almost 105,000 articles posted in it, as you can see here. Um, so we're just going to double click on it. And in a second, it now has loaded 25,000 headers. That's, so that's basically, it's given us information on 25,000 of the 105,000 posts. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead in here and type, uh, you know, spy. Let's see if we can find some spy information. So here we go. We've got spy pics of a 2010 Boss 351 Mustang. Kind of cool. You know, if you're a Mustang guy, you can click on these arrows here. It'll drop down. It'll show you all the posts in the thread. Uh, but that's an easy way to search the Usenet and to search news groups right away. Um, you can find more information out on Nemo um, on my website. On the page you're probably on, there's a list of resources down below the video. Um, but I will say this, there are other news readers out there. There are free ones that are out there. Um, but honestly, a lot of them are very have a lot of extra functionality that really makes them a lot more difficult to use. And uh, if you're a Giga News subscriber, you get to use Nemo for free. It's a great application. I like it. It's quick. It's fast. It's very easy to use. It's not a bunch of junk you have to jump through. So, hope you found it interesting. If there's any questions, please be sure to drop a comment here, and I will try and get to them as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching.